developments tonight in the case of missing 10-month-old Lisa Irwin. But earlier, the mother and father decided to quit cooperating with the police, but our door is always open. The main goal has always been to find Lisa and bring her home. Two different stories are emerging tonight about whether Lisa Irwin's parents are cooperating with police. We begin our live team coverage with KCTV5's Janine Kiesling. She's live near the relative's house where the baby's parents just left about a half hour ago. Janine? Yeah, Karen, Lisa's parents were staying at the home behind me with a relative here on North Walren. They weren't happy when the media showed up and basically told us to get lost. They weren't talking. According to police, they told investigators who, be, who have been working around the clock to find baby Lisa the same thing. But earlier, the mother and father decided to quit cooperating with the police, but our door is always open. And just like that, police say the cooperation with 10-month-old Lisa Irwin's parents abruptly came to an end. The cooperation of the parents is, uh, we believe they were, um, you know, maybe one of our best bets to help find this child. So, yeah, our door's open and, and uh, it, it doesn't help the investigation. It was 4 a.m. Tuesday morning when Jeremy Irwin called police and said his daughter Lisa was missing. The next day and again this morning, both Irwin and Lisa's mother, Deborah Bradley, pleaded for their daughter's safe return. I'd like to have her back so she can have her Barney and her family, her brothers. We just, we need her home. It's like they just walked in and just disappeared. But sometime Thursday, the cooperation police said they'd been getting from the family came to an abrupt halt. Police say Lisa's parents were no longer interested in helping with the investigation to find their daughter. We tried to ask the family why the change of heart. You have no idea what we're, what's happened here. Believe the cops are the family. And we're told twice the family wasn't interested in talking to the media either. For the million people in the metro that are trying to help find this baby, could you say something to them? So how do authorities believe this will impact the investigation and most importantly, their ability to find baby Lisa? The answer, they say, is obvious. And I don't have to illustrate how that you know, affects the, uh, the investigation. It speaks for itself. The family says they are still cooperating, and after everything here at the house went down, a relative came out and said they changed their mind. They decided to go ahead and make a comment. They did so at the family home, and that's where we find KCTV5's Betsy Webster, who continues our live team coverage. Betsy? Well, Janine, this all in. tape from the neighborhood, the crime tape that had been blocking access to that house you see behind me there on Lister, the house where Lisa was sleeping when she disappeared. A car drove up and a woman who identified herself as Jeremy's sister came out and took issue with the police statement that Lisa's parents have stopped cooperating. We have never stopped cooperating with the police. We've been cooperative from day one and we continue to assist the police with the investigation. The main goal has always been to find Lisa and bring her home. That remains the sole focus of the parents. They will be releasing a statement sometime tomorrow and want to thank the police and the community for all of their efforts, concern, and prayers. Has been going on today not far from the couple's home. Officers searched this wooded area less than a mile away, walking methodically, shoulder to shoulder, looking for baby Lisa Irwin. As the search moved well into its third day, it seemed as if detectives were checking increasingly tucked away spots for possible hiding places. They even lifted up manhole covers and worked with the water department to check storm drains, like we saw here at 33rd and Shoto earlier today. They searched to the point where police announced a few hours ago that there is nothing more they can do with a command post. Now, after as for that statement you heard just a moment ago from Jeremy Irwin's sister, uh, we asked um, why police would believe that the parents have stopped cooperating. How has uh, their role changed in helping to solve that case? Well, she would not take any questions. She said thank you. She jumped into that car that she had hopped out of, and everything wrapped up about as quickly as it began, really quite suddenly. Uh, we are waiting uh, to hear more tomorrow. We understand Lisa's parents will be making a few more statements tomorrow for now. From Reporting live tonight from 
37th and North Lister. I'm Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News. All right, Betsy and Janine, thank you. And now here's a closer look at how this case has unfolded. Lisa Irwin's father discovered his daughter was missing around 4 Tuesday morning. Investigators issued an Amber Alert at 7.15 that morning, and it was canceled 12 hours later. All this time, crews have been searching. And just three hours ago, police announced Lisa's parents have stopped cooperating with them. And then, just before 8, police started to take down the command post. And still, no sign of 10-month-old Lisa Irwin. If you have any idea where she might be, call the TIPS hotline at 816-474-TIPS.